I've, I've got a question for you. Today, I want you to think about the life of Jesus on earth. And this is pause on purpose. And did you know Jesus had to rely on the Holy Spirit of God? Just like we have to rely on him. Jesus had to rely on him during his earthly ministry. You say, Paul, how do you know that? Well, my Bible's open to Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. And this is a prophecy. In other words, it is foretelling the Messiah's coming and what God was going to do in and through the Messiah. Look at verse 2 of chapter 11. This is our pause on purpose verse. It says, the spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and, our key word, understanding. The spirit of counsel and strength. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. See, Jesus has to rely on the spirit of God when he was on uh, it, during his earthly ministry, just like you and I did. That's what makes his life on earth so connecting to you and me. He understands our struggles. He understands what it means to be tempted. He understands what it means to learn dependence on the Father and the Holy Spirit because he had to learn that. And because he had to learn that and was 100% successful at that, he never sinned. He can come to our aid. He can come to our side when we're struggling. And we say, Jesus, I need your help. Give me the spirit of understanding right now. What should I do? How should I depart from evil? How should I run towards goodness and righteousness? Please give me understanding in this situation. Let's face it. We run into situations all the time where understanding just kind of vanishes. And we're wondering, how do we do this? It is so complex. Sometimes it's relationships. Sometimes it's a circumstance. Sometimes it's our own personal struggle that we have been wrestling with our whole life. And we're going, Man, how do I get over this? I got to deal with this. That's where we can go to Jesus and say, please give me understanding today. And he will. Trust him. Lean on him today. Invite him into that, whatever it is. Wait for him. Seek him in his word. And listen. And ask him for that understanding. And it will come. Wait for it. And then go with God. Because he always goes with you.